Hi guys, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're gonna go for a walk around a Shore Track 8x14 deck over dump trailer. It's a 14,000 pound GVW, weighs about 4,200 pounds empty, gives you a net legal payload of about 9,800 plus tongue weight. It's available in both a gooseneck and a bumper pull. Currently a 14 foot's the only length, however there may be a 16 foot coming down the pike. Six hole adjustable coupler standard, Notice it's a cast coupler. One of the recent improvements to this trailer would now be an eight inch tube tongue. Used to be a two by six, now it's a two by eight. Also new for 2018 would be the 12K jack. Used to be an option, now it's standard. For those not familiar with the 12K jack, it's got dual grease zerts up top. It's got a bolt on plate, so if you were to damage it, it's easy to replace. 12K jacks are also nice because they are spring assisted. All you have to do is turn the handle sideways, it'll retract up in. Also, you got lots of extension. Of course, you got your safety chains. Wiring is all grommeted, ran in frame. Notice it's a sealed harness. I've also started to do a plug protector standard now. Also now standard is not only a 110 volt charger, but these are a new uh, Genius G1100 uh, protector. So you'd plug your 110 volt uh, house current in, and there's the Genius. We've seen different models of these 110 volt chargers. We've had a few that seem to have been problematic in the past, not necessarily from short track, but just in the industry. Uh, these, the jury's still out as they're newer, but they seem like they're pretty good from what we've seen. Same thing with the DECA Deep Cycle Marine Battery. Had excellent luck with those. It's a standard Group 24. I guess to clarify, it's actually a high capacity Group 24 as they do make a standard and a high capacity. You can tell because this is a 140 amp hour uh, where your standard capacity is normally about 100. Uh, what that means, the 140 means you can run 140 uh, minutes at the rated amps and they're showing 23 amps. So if you want to get very technical, you can tell exactly how many dump cycles that trailer is going to get depending on how many amps it draws and how many minutes it takes to cycle. Now this is a power up gravity down. You can tell because it's got a single uh, port. If it was a dole, it'd have a second port. It's KTI hydraulic pump. Looks like there it's running 3000 PSI. It is in a lockable box. They give you a 20 foot cord, which I'll be using in a second. Also new within the last couple years or since our last video is trailers now equipped standard for a tarp kit the tarp is not standard but the uh, shroud is uh, now standard and ready for the tarp you'll notice short track does a nice job with finish quality so they do a uh, silicone between your your uh, steel there okay so this is a deck over with fold down sides one thing short track does a little different in the industry their sides are uh, 20 inch tall where a lot in the industry you're gonna find are gonna be 18 inches. Okay, they put uh, grease zerts on them. You can take the side panels off. They're not a quick pin, although they don't take long. Also notice they got a grease zert on them. Do a tube corner post. Uh, very easy to deploy. You'd simply rotate these pins 90 degrees and pull it out, and then you can take your side down. So I do have this side ready to come down. I'll show you in a second how it operates, but it's pretty simple. You just rotate the pins and pull it down. These come standard with a 235-80 R16 10-ply radial tire. Brakes on both axles. Has the newer forward adjusting brakes. You can also notice from the uh, black center cap there, these have the Easy Lube hubs. Short Track sends these through currently with uh, white wagon wheels. We can also do a silver mod uh, wheel at no charge. Slipper spring suspension is standard. You also notice the grease zert in the center. They would refer to that in the industry as a wet bolt kit. Uh, you'll find most manufacturers in the industry don't do the wet bolt kit. They do do it standard on this model. These guys going down the side, we'd refer to as a rope ring. Uh, they're for your bungee tie down should you get a tarp kit. You just bring them down. Need uh, two or three bungees to secure your load on each side. Again, Short Track does also continue the silicone we were talking about earlier between the bed frame and the bed. Okay, trailer comes standard with a uh, barn door spreader gate. If you wanted to spread, you would simply set the gauge where you would 
would like for your spreading application. Okay, on the back door, you'll see they got grease zerts on both the top and lower hinge. Back door is secured with a cam bar lock. Occasionally we see just a single pin down at the bottom, but this is, again, secured with a cam lock. Uh, Short Track uses a safety chain system to secure your gate back to the side. Some manufacturers we see take the gate to a 90, and what happens occasionally, especially on that side, gentleman will get out the driver's side of his pickup, swing the gate to a 90, put the bed up, and not realize there's a, a stone to the far side or material to the far side that they'll tweak their gate. Uh, by having the chains, the gate's going to come all the way back against the dump, so you don't have to worry about that detail. Also, when you deploy the, uh, the spreader gate, uh, you would pull that pin. They've got a retainer there so you don't lose your pin. Inside the bed, they put five standard D-rings, so you've got them in the corner, and then you've also got one front and center. Notice they also do full seam welds around the perimeter. Okay, another detail Short Track does standard would be this integrated body stiffener that uh, is in the side, also referred to as a keyway. That keyway gives a lot of strength to the sidewall without adding additional weight. Makes for a very strong trailer. Okay, so if you want to deploy the side, I already pulled the rear pin. Front pin is pretty well deployed. So it simply come down. Makes it nice for landscapers, farmers, especially like this for round bales, skids and material. Being an eight foot wide, you can go, uh, you can go uh, too wide with pallets. Okay, let me see if I can put this up with one hand. It's a load, but you can do it even with one hand. Okay, pin system, you simply push in. It'll latch. Again, simple enough that you can do it with one hand. So I'm gonna show you the underside of the trailer. A couple things. Uh, Short Track builds this trailer uh, pretty rugged underneath. Industry standard normally for a seven wide on cross members would be about 16 to 20 inch on center. Normally you'd see a three inch stud. Uh, on these, they do use a four inch uh, floor stud. And then you'll notice they also do the upgraded scissor hoist. Now this is the only short track trailer uh, that comes standard with a scissor. The rest would come with a dual ram, but again, the deck over dumps they do with a scissor hoist. So there's a shot of your scissor, lighten it up so you can see it. Put grease zerts on the scissor at top and bottom for you. Uh, short track also uses a uh, a uh, 100,000 PSI steel scissor. So it's a very high tensile steel. Give you a couple shots. Uh, right below the scissor, they do a, uh, a tool tray, which on this particular trailer also makes a great spot for a spare tire. Protect does a good job with their wiring. You'll notice it's all sealed. It's all uh, grommeted in the corners. This trailer, of course, is powder coated. I didn't get to the whole process of their prep, but they do do the best job of our manufacturers that we carry here with their powder coating. All the steel stored inside. It's blasted with steel grit after the finished product's complete. Gets phosphate wash, and then it gets a, a special coating, you could say, before it goes into powder. It's like a zinc chromate that makes the powder bond a little bit better. So occasionally we'll get guys that'll say, what's this chain for? Being that it is a power up gravity down, it's not hydraulically locked in place per se when you're loading. So that's a safety whenever you're loading, if you'd like to use. Of course, it'd be suggested that you use it when you're loading. Okay, one detail we find on Short Tracks ramps, they put a half inch plate at the end of the ramp. Uh, I've seen a several in the industry use a quarter inch plate. I've also seen those bend. Little detail, but it might be the difference between replacing your ramps or not. Another key detail, most of your deck overs are about two inches or so taller uh, than a, a traditional low profile dump. Short Track lengthens the ramps about a foot so that the angle stays about the same even on the, the deck over dumps. Critical detail, their ramps about 90 inches 
most of the industry is running about 78 so you get a nicer uh nicer load angle also we'll take a look you notice the scissors got a double two by four tube bulkhead at the top end do a, a good job with their engineering of the trailer they also go to a little heavier tube bed frame on this model uh, than many of their other models they do that again for the the fact that the sides will fold down gives you some additional strength other key details we like they put grease zerts everything on this is pretty serviceable got a grease zert in the main hinge point they also cap the end of the tube then you also notice underneath the main frame they're doing an under frame bridge so you got a very strong frame on this trailer it's actually the heaviest built uh shore track 14k dump uh, by frame weights if you take a close look you also notice those brake connections are sealed and molded I'll show you that one as well you might be able to see better do a very good job on the little details that are uh maintenance areas potentially down the road As with uh, all the short track dumps, you're going to get approximately a 45 degree uh, angle on the scissor hoist. Okay, this is the short track 8x14 deck over. As mentioned, it does come in a gooseneck as well. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.